Hey guys, what's up? Jordan here, I'm bringing you a tutorial video on how to install too many items for Minecraft. Uh, it is a mod for Minecraft and uh, it pretty much is an in-game inventory editor that allows you to have whatever block you want. Uh, sorry if that pops up a bit during the video, I'm um, transferring a file. But uh, yeah, so basically just open your preferred web browser. Uh, and I'll link in there, but you need to go to on the Minecraft farms. And when it's loading, which my internet will be very slow because of the file transfer going on. Uh, it's almost done. So yeah. Uh, cool. So thank you very much. I can't go away. Alright, so yeah, Marglyph made this mod for Minecraft single player. Uh, it also works in multiplayer but only if you're in op so uh, yeah. Oh and yeah if they've only I will show you how to do later. So uh, basically you just press this big thing link that says download uh, or alternatively you can go down here and you sneakily put a one with no ad in there. So yeah, just click whatever one you want and um, yeah it'll download. I've already got it downloaded so uh, we just go straight here. Close that. Uh, so yep, it'll come here, it'll be in your downloads folder or whatever, I've just dragged it onto my desktop. Uh, so, uh, so you just double click that and open it, and uh, if you've got a uh, archiving program, that is, uh, if you don't have one, or uh, you don't know how to use it, just, uh, I'll put up a link now to a video telling you how to get WinRAR, so uh, just click on it, and the video's gone. I mean the link's gone. So um yep. Basically you do that, then you hold the start oops. Hold the start button on your keyboard and press R to open run. Alternatively you can just go to the start menu and search for run unless you're win running Windows XP, in which case it'll just be here somewhere. Alright. So what you want to do is type uh, percent app data percent uh back yeah, so backward slash dot to Minecraft backward slash and press OK. Um and then you'll get this open. Uh whoops, didn't mean to minimize it. Uh go into your bin folder and go down to Minecraft.jar and open that up. Uh yours may look a little bit different on the inside to mine because I've installed stuff, but yeah. So basically, you have this meta.inf, uh, uh, meta-inf folder. I just want to delete that because it will prevent the mod from working. It doesn't affect your game in any way. Uh, just wait for it to reload. Yep, so it's gone. And then just over here, just highlight all these um, class files and drag them just under all these folders so uh, it doesn't. What do you call it? accidentally go into a folder and then they'll just wait for it to reload pop up down here alright so it's that simple now you can't have minecraft open during that process by the way because it won't work so then you edit it but yeah just to show you how it works you gotta run minecraft first and my minecraft may or may not work I don't know it's been having some problems in the last hour or so yeah. Alright, so I'll just log in. Make that screen. Uh, sorry about Minecraft not being in such good quality, but I am just using a basic screen recorder, not a game recorder like Fraps or 
anything decent on this free one called Camtasia Studio. Right, so yeah, just choose your. Uh, oh, clicked on the wrong one. Oh well, doesn't matter. <laughs> just choose your world and uh, wait for it to load. And where am I? Alright, my failed piston hidden door thing. Alright, so press tab. Oh, so open your inventory. Mine's on tab. And basically, you get this. Uh, and you just click on an item, and it will give you a stack of 64. Uh, some of the items will be marked as unnamed. That's because you can only obtain them through uh, a give command. And also, another trick with it is um, if you right click it, it'll only give you one of that item as well. That is something I did not know. So, well, there you go. <laughs> um, also, you can save your inventories, and then... Yeah, yeah I'm just trying to delete it. Alright, and then just load them up at any time you want. So, yeah. Uh, you notice mine are named, some of them. I'll show you how to fix that later. Alright, so, you got that. And then if you hold shift, uh, and you click a block, it will give you 111 and also if you're holding shift you'll notice this trash button down here turns into a delete all that turns from dragging and dropping a stack of items into just deleting your entire inventory uh, it doesn't delete your saves it just deletes that pressing this x will delete your saves but uh yeah so that's that and i'll show you what's generated while you have been in the minecraft game so you just go back into your dot minecraft folder and this too many items dot text dot txt will have opened uh, leave that there because that will be the default for any servers you go on uh, see here is where you rename uh, your saves so yep and this will be false. Uh, this is enable MP, which is stands for multiplayer. If you set it to true, as uh, Daniel said before, it will allow you, as long as you have access to the give command, to uh, just use that in multiplayer. And up here, enable on true, that just enables it overall. So if you put that on false, you won't be able to use it. All right. Well, that's been a tutorial on how to install and use basically uh, too many items mod by mm, I can't remember their name <laughs> but yeah so I'll put the link in the description uh, please comment rate subscribe do all that good stuff and thanks for watching we'll see you guys later